Welcome back to Mitford Pottery and uh, this is another addition to our Pottery 2 making video. Dead easy. A simple, quick and effective way to make throwing sticks a la Simon Leach is the originator for this type of throwing stick and dead basic, dead useful. We'll show you how to make them. I always get the wooden, it's a hard wood and I suppose it can be any and the way I usually get it is in just a small sheet of and I believe this is a three millimetre thick. You don't want any more than four because uh, we need it relatively thin but I did try getting thinner and I think this is two or three it's too flexible so three or four is about the optimum thickness you can buy them for like model shops that type of stuff and this is rose wood I believe uh, it's a hard wood it's relatively water resistant uh, as long as you don't soak them too long in water and what we do the only tool we need is a sacrificial bit of wood to cut it on and a very sharp strong standing knife because we are all we do we just cut through the wood and so what I would do with that you work your dimensions out and see so it's about two and a half centimeters is the width of a stick which is sort of optimal so in a sheet like that I'll measure it for you so we got 75 so you get roughly one so you get three sticks across you probably get and the length of a stick is around about 15 centimeters and this sheet is was bang on 30 centimeters so 30 by seven and a half and you'll get what's that so if we do half, so you'll get six thrown sticks out of a little sheet like that. And all we do, use a steel rule if you can. You hold that to your two and a half centimetres. You get your standing knife, run it across there a few times and it'll snap off. And what happens is, I'll just, uh, I've got a shortcut. We've got some pre-prepared. Because you don't want to watch me... Uh, cutting bits of wood so I'll for hold them on there like that so if you can see so that's cut and then when you cut the end you cut it at one end at a 45 degree angle so you get our little throne stick out of that so that's 45 so that gives you a sharp point so that's for your trimming you'll have seen it in my other videos and Simon Leach's and that's for cutting your bevel in the bottom straight edge for cleaning stuff off now what I've been doing recently uh, I bought myself a little CNC machine uh, that one's a bit full of sawdust but we'll have a look at that one so all I've done with mine is I've put our branding on it's backwards in the camera so that's our Midford Pottery logo like you see it's pretty much water resistant but as an added extra all I do linseed oil so it's a, it's a natural product it doesn't affect your clay or anything like that and all I do we just give it a coat of linseed oil it makes it last a little bit longer and I've been doing this with all my handmade wooden tools recently be it uh, spatulas for uh, mixing glazes up and stuff like that and then the only thing I've been doing on these you see I just give it a rough just adding a bit more where the logo is because it's a bit deeper So we treated, so that is our throwing stick. Woo. 
and that's our branded throwing stick and there you go so check out my videos you'll see he's using these dead easy dead cheap I mean cost wise a sheet probably double the size of that's about a tenner standing knife steel ruler bit of linseed oil and you can make lots of these they do wear out and they do snap and they do break because um, it is just a bit of wood well they do last a relatively long time it depends it, it usually snaps against the grain long ways but if you use it correctly it lasts a long long time dead cheap much better than the stuff you can buy all this plastic stuff much better and I'm with Simon Leach on that one if you can make it make it it's probably better and more useful so there you go thanks for watching clear is the way make your own tools and uh, that's our throwing stick video dead easy get yourself making we'll see you in another video very soon. Bye for now.